on the Honesty Onyx edition. We're going to start over here on the steering wheel. We have cruise control to turn it on and then you set it. It's an adaptive cruise control so it'll kind of link on to the car in front of you um, making y'all go at the same speed. And so this is how you get closer to the car in front of you or further away. This will keep you in the center of the lane and then you can adjust the speed with this toggle as well under here we have the heated steering wheel over here we have source which is your source of music am fm sirius bluetooth car play this is to change the song or go through the presets in your radio this eye, as you can see right there above the P, I have an I right now at the moment due to, and then if I hit my I, I can see that the I is indicating that I have low fuel right now. And then this toggle here next to it will change the information up above on that screen giving you um, how much time you've been in the car, um, gone any miles, pressure. This will only tell you while after you have moved. Compass, map, music. Then back here we have to pick up the phone and hang up the phone. This is your voice recognition. So if you hit it one time. Please say a command. She'll come on Canceling. there. But if your phone is hooked up to CarPlay or Android Auto and you press and hold her, it'll actually give you Siri or Google, depending on who is your phone with. And then down here we have the volume. Back here we have paddle shifters to where if you put it in drive and pop it over to manual, you'll be able to uh, manually drive. Then we have your lights, auto, and on and bright. If you have it on auto and pushed forward, you will actually use the bright lights and it'll auto dim while other people are coming by. Down below here, we have to open and close your trunk. Cabin lights, which will turn on all of the lights inside of the vehicle. And this controls the brightness of your dash. Then over to the main screen, we have your home here, maps, radio, media, meaning Bluetooth, or if you ever hook up anything to the aux, um, phone, apps, a cool one in the apps is this is how you could get to your CarPlay or Android Auto. A cool app as well is the travel link, and this is free with just a subscription or just with having the Subaru itself you can do weather six hour five out five days or a long while you're on a trip you can set up weather alerts parking you can find all the parking garages near you fuel prices it'll actually tell you where and how much sports you can keep up with your favorite sports team stocks you can keep up with your stocks and that's just a fun thing that a lot of people don't know is there. Um, the Starlink will be grayed out that you know that it is active. My Subaru, um, you can also have this on your phone if you have the Starlink safety and security. But on here, it's not letting me because the car is not set up. But you'll be able to do roadside assistance and schedule appointments through here. Car info will just give you the angle of your car and give you some other diagnosis. And you can keep up with your maintenance schedule here as well. Swiping over. Display off will actually turn off your whole screen. And then you can turn it back on by holding the volume knob. Valet mode will lock all of your phone settings and map recent places that you have been just so it's just a safety thing so no valet drivers can look up where you've been where your home is who you've called none of those important details 
Cabin Connect is a really cool fe feature, which actually uses your speakers as a microphone to just be louder in the back so you're not having to turn your head away from the road. Article vehicle hold, you want to have this one off when you are going through a car wash. What this one does will actually hold the brake for you until you hit the gas. And so if you're in the car wash, it'll hold down your brakes causing you to uh, mess up your brakes. Traction control and then a shortcut. This is where you can just, if you like that travel link I just showed you about and you want to keep up with your sports, you would just go here, apps, and do just for your sports, making it an app itself and faster to get to. And then if you don't want that, you just drag to delete. And another fun feature that the home screen actually works just like your phone screen. It'll actually, you can move things around or move things to the front screen or vice versa. Just in options. And then down here we have your climate control. This little yellow, or excuse me, this white square will take you to the settings for the back seats. And this big rectangle will take you to the settings from the front seats. You'll be able to adjust the mode, the temperature, everything from there. And then you also have the hard buttons on each side for that. Right here we have defrost in the front, defrost in the back, and then tunes and volume. Right here we have a little car emoji. And this is basically all your driving settings. Your another place for your traction control, X mode for when you're in a little bit of snow or some mud, acceleration, the vehicle hold again, steering responsive headlights meaning your headlights will turn with you as soon as you turn. Driving assistance is your pre-collision braking. This goes along with the eyesight cameras up above you. Just meaning that if you're going over seven miles an hour, the car will actually brake for you, helping you prevent an accident if something were to run in front of you. Lane departure, again, the two cameras using those um, to keep you inside those lanes to prevent accidents again. Rear vehicle detection, so your blind spot detection and your rear crossing traffic alert. So basically whenever you're backing up, it'll beep at you. And if um, blind spots, you'll see that you'll get a flash on this side here. Driver monitoring system actually uses this camera up above to scan your face and it'll actually move your seat and adjust your side mirrors with that and I can show you how to do that and then some more settings is just the volume in the units and I got there from pressing that button then back to home over here we have a managed device and so this is where all your devices that have been connected to your car will be so you can switch back and forth from those and then this is just a driver profile or just keep your stations and settings how you like them up above you have some display you have outside temp and time and then the music that might be playing the road that you're on or if you're using the maps it'll tell you your next turn this is the triple meter screen and it'll actually um, you can change it to whatever you would like so just by clicking on it, you're able to switch out. Let's say you don't want it, the angle to be shown. You can substitute it for oil temperature. And then it'll be there on your triple meter. And then your weather. And along with another way to do the X mode here for the snow and dirt and heavy snow and mud. Down below we have all your USB, your view button. So if you hit that button, it'll give you the 360 view and it'll jump around to all those views. And then your paddle shifter or 
your gear shifter and your parking brake that you'll turn on like this press the brake and press down it'll cut off um window window lock up and down how to change the mirrors and then up above here we have to open the fabric and then this one will open the actual glass itself here we have off and door if you want your lights to turn on when the doors are open you want to make sure that all of those are set that way then here you have an information button. Both of these go to Subaru representatives at all time. The information is just if you're lost or something or your car is making a funny noise, you can call and they can help you as much as they can over the phone to ease your mind. And then also the SOS button also goes to a representative. It's just that they'll send whoever you might need in that case being fire or police or rescue whoever might be the case last thing back behind here is your trip reset here we have some memory seating to set and then press the one when you want to set it um and then below here we have auto dimming that will keep this dim when bright lights are behind you or if the sun is shining and then also if you have home gate garages, you can set that up. Instead of having a chunky gate opener, you can use those buttons. And a last really, really cool feature that I like to show all the Ascent people is that if you put your car in drive, or excuse me, in reverse, you see that we're here, we have the reverse automatic braking. We scoot up so it doesn't beep at us. We have the reverse automatic braking, which happens, works just like the pre-collision braking. So that'll break your car for you if something happens to run out behind you. And then here, this is what gives you those BB beeps when you're getting too close in that green screen if you're too close to something. And But also, if you grab this knob right here with the windshield wiper, and you just press, get this, the tip right here and turn it towards you. It'll actually clean your camera off for you if there happens to be some dust or something there. And that's just a really cool feature that we like to show people that get a sense. So I hope this helped. Please feel free to reach out if I happen to miss anything. And I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you.